you might have probably heard about root mean square voltage. Well, we have this sine wave here, and we know that the value of an AC voltage is continually changing from 0 up to the positive peak, through 0 to the negative peak, and back to 0 again. Clearly, for most of the time it is less than the peak voltage, so this is not a good measure of its real effect. Instead, we use the root mean square voltage, which is 0.7 of the peak voltage. So the RMS voltage is equal to 0.7 times the peak voltage, and the peak voltage is equal to 1.4 times the RMS voltage. These two equations also apply to current. It is important to note that these equations are only true for sine waves, which is the most common type of AC, because the 0.7 and 1.4 factors are different values for other shapes. So the RMS value is the effective value of a varying voltage or current. It is the equivalent steady DC value, which gives the same effect. So for example, we have here two ident almost identical circuits. The only difference is that the first light bulb is driven by a 120 volts DC power source, and the other one from a 170 volts AC power source. So even though the voltage of this AC power source is higher than the DC power source, the effective power that it gives to this light bulb is the same with the power given by this 120 volts DC power source. And that's because the RMS value of this 170 volts is 120 volts. So if I start the simulator, you can notice that the amount of time for both light bulbs to warm up is identical, and also the brightness of both of them is the same. So, however, if I change the voltage of the AC to 120 volts, the RMS value will be around 18 volts if I, 80 volts if I'm not mistaken. And if I reset the simulator and uh, start again, you can notice the difference. This gives less power to the light bulb right now, and this light bulb needs much more time to warm up than uh, this one here. You might find it helpful to think of the RMS value as sort of average, but please remember that it is not really the average. In fact, the average voltage of a typical AC signal is zero, because the positive and negative parts are exactly cancel out. Now the question is, if you have a voltmeter or a multimeter for example, and you want to check the AC voltage of your outlet, uh, will your multimeter show the peak voltage or the RMS voltage? Well, your voltmeter, when it is positioned on the AC and not DC, will always show you the RMS value. For example, in North America, the peak voltage provided by the outlet is 170 volts, and when you check it with your multimeter, you will see the value of 120 volts. The following question that I often hear is that what does 6 volt AC really mean? Is it the RMS or the peak voltage? Well, if the peak value is meant, it should be clearly stated, otherwise assume it is the RMS value. In everyday use, AC voltages and currents are always given as RMS value because this allows a sensible comparison to be made with steady DC voltages and at currents, of course, such as from a battery.